Good morning to everyone. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, the organizing committee of this international seminar. And I also would like to extend my thanks for giving me an opportunity to speak on the issue. The issue raised on this conference is very nice, so pertinent, uh, and the bonding one because uh, the issue is in related to the conservation of wildlife and the bridging the gap between the conflict between the human being and the wildlife. So uh, without going uh, to more detail, because many people, papers have already been uh, presented, submitted, many people have already been spoke on, on the topic from yesterday itself, and many statutory provisions, constitutional provisions, and other rules, regulations have already been mentioned, stated. So you people are well aware. So I'm directly going uh, to my topic, that is, I'm going to speak uh, on the role played by the Sikkim state, the, uh, the historical background of the state of Sikkim, uh, and the role played by the state for the conservation of wildlife, vis-a-vis -vis other natural, uh, uh, natural, uh, you know, environment. So uh, you all know that Sikkim joined uh, Indian Union a little bit late as compared to the other state of India because Sik uh, India was constituted in the year 1947 itself and it was more legally constituted in the year 1950. But Sikkim joined the Union of India only in the year 1975 by inserting a new article that is Article 371F, and uh, you, you all might be well aware that is a special uh, provisions given to the state of Sikkim. And many laws, uh, many of the central laws uh, have not yet been extended uh, because Sikkim uh, had or has already uh, uh, some of the its own laws which are being considered as old laws which are protected under Article 371F. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the then kingdom had already uh, uh, had an idea that forest had to be protected. And if, you, if we protect the forest, automatically uh, wildlife will also be protected. So it was, you know, early in the year uh, 1909 itself, the then king uh, issued one proclamation for uh, for uh, for which is also uh, can be considered as an enactment for regulating the wildlife and the forest in the state. So from those days itself, Sikkim was aware to protect the wildlife and to have uh, some kind of compassion toward the living creatures, the forest, water bodies, and all because those. Uh, uh, regulations, proclamations of the then king uh, have uh, a very detailed mention in how to how to protect the forest and how to conserve the wildlife, uh, and also that enactment also established the forest uh, department in the state in the year nineteen hundred and nine itself. So when India joined in the Indian Union in the year 1975, uh, there was already the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. But when the, that was passed, enacted by the Parliament of India, when the wildlife was the subject of the state, and when wildlife was transferred to the concurrent list in the year 1976 by amending the Constitution, which is also a very popular amendment, that was the 42nd Amendment, Simultaneously, the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 was also extended to the state of Sikkim. But uh, in the year 1988, the state of Sikkim also legislated uh, one law, which is known as the Forest uh, Protection, Road Reserves, Sleep Areas Act of 2000 and, uh, sorry, 1988. That law has also some kind of provisions for protection of wildlife. And after enacting that law, Sikkim has already uh, Sikkim has created some kind of protected areas like national park, wildlife sanctuaries. Sikkim has one national park which is known very popular, Kanchanjunga National Park, and other you know seven wildlife sanctuaries, tiger reserves, 
eco-sensitive zones. So, uh, though Sikkim, the landmass of Sikkim is very small, but still, these protected areas covers 30% of landmass area. So, by that way, Sikkim is playing a very big role for the protection of wildlife by giving uh, that kind of all kind of you know facilities to the administrator of the Sikkim Forest and Wildlife Management Department for providing that kind of employees for conserving the wildlife for but despite having uh, this kind of you know regulation Sikkim is also facing there are some kind of uh, problem areas still because of the climate change you know uh, migration of the species conflict between the uh, between the animal and the human beings these are the issues which are uh, is still prevalent in the state of Sikkim so I am not going uh, in deeper on those issues because these are the similar issues all over the part of the country because the climate change itself is one of the biggest problem because of the because of that uh, because of the weather condition because of other kind of things because of the non availability to food now animals uh, have already started uh, migrating from one place to an another place in the search of food. So, in that process, uh, there is a, a great, uh, you know, danger, uh, uh, danger of the conflict between the human being and animals. So that is, these are issues. These are the general issues which are uh, prevalent in all over the part of the country and which has, uh, which have been already uh, been raised in this particular seminar also. So I'm going to I'm going.